So the latest version of CyanogenMod, Mod, that's version 10.2, based on Android 4.3, was recently released, and I'm going to teach you guys how to install it on the Samsung Galaxy S2 GDI9100. So stay tuned for that. Hi again. So first things first, we obviously have to download the ROM itself, and we're going to be downloading the latest, which is the Cyanogen 10.2 version, that's Android 4.3. And don't worry, I'll be providing all the download links in the video description below and on the guide on wiredmash.com. So we'll be downloading two things, that's the ROM and the G-Apps. So G-Apps is a package which includes the official Google Apps to be used on version 4.3. So you can't really use a previous version of G-Apps on 4.3 as there will be some incompatibility issues. So... So Cyanogen Mod usually comes out with a nightly build and I just downloaded one of the latest nightly builds. This is Cyanogen Mod 10.2 that's of August 24 and it's roughly about 181 megabytes. And of course I downloaded the G apps which is of based on August 13 and that's roughly about 87 megabytes. So what you have to do is copy both files then once they're both copied, get your Samsung Galaxy S2 and connect it via your micro USB cable. Make sure you got uh, Samsung keys installed. So as you can see, the dialog window finally popped up and we're going to transfer to the SD card. Or you can also transfer it um, via to the internal storage if you wish. So we're going to paste it over there. We're going to transfer the G apps right now. It's copying the G apps, and we're going to also be transferring the Cyanogen mod as you can see. So I'll be back once it's done. Okay, so once it's done transferring the ROM, the Cyanogen mod 10.2 ROM, and the G apps, we can simply uh, remove the micro USB cable and put it at the side. And we're going to turn off the device so we can head over to uh, recovery mode. And in order to enter recovery mode, all you have to do is to press volume up, the home button, and the power button all at once for at least 10 seconds or so. So right now it's fully off, so we have to press the volume up, the home button, and the power button all at once for at least 10 seconds or so. And the screen should flash twice, that's the first flash. And there's a second flash, and we're about to enter recovery mode. Alright, so before we do anything else, we've got to make sure we do a wipe data factory reset and a wipe, do a wipe cache partition also. Um, this is basically making sure that there won't be any incompatibility issues with the ROM and the, the forthcoming ROM to be installed. So we're doing, going to do a wipe cache partition too. So we're going to ins install zip. Choose zip from SD card. I'm going to look for Cygen mod. There it is. We're going to install it. So I'll be back once it's done installing. So it's done installing. We're going to, of course, going to install the G apps too. And as you can see, we have to install the latest. This is the 2013 0813. And that's for 10.2. Cygen mod 10.2. So as you can see in the sort of install notes below, it's Google Apps for Android 4.3, just to make sure. So now it's all done, installing. So we're going to head back over to the main menu, and we're going to do again a wipe data factory reset. And a wipe cache partition, just to be sure. And we're going to reboot system now. So again, this will be the first boot, so it's going to probably take some time for it to load up, so give it some time. And there we go, we've got the Cyanogen mod uh, boot up sequence, so I'll be back um, to give you a quick preview of the Cyanogen mod 10.2 Android version 4.3 for the Samsung Galaxy S2. So there we go, folks, we've got the welcome or setup screen, so I'm going to select start. Of course, I don't have a SIM card at the moment. I'll insert that later on. I'm going to skip the Wi-Fi. 
that apps estimate your location, get more relevant information. All right, just click next. Philippine Standard Time, that's correct. You agree that your phone may receive it, okay. And done. So this is the one of the closest experiences to a vanilla Android experience. So let's check out um, system settings. About phone. There we go guys, it's Android 4.3. And the build date is August 24th. And this is a quick, very quick preview. Let's check out a few things here. A very quick preview of Cyanogen Mod 10.2. And as you can see, it's quite smooth, battery smooth. Look at that. This is running on the Samsung Galaxy S2, guys. So I'm going to be using this as my daily driver for the next uh, week or two, depends. And um, I'll share my review and pretty soon so stay tuned for that and in the meantime don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe to Wired Mash as it definitely helps us a lot and don't forget to visit wiredmash.com and most of all thanks for watching